Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. This is gonna be a very quick one. Um, well, hopefully, we're gonna look at Darktable today. It's a software that apparently is for... Oof, we have App Image, we have Windows, we have Mac OS, and we also have a source code. So Darktable is an open source Lightroom alternative. So let's see. Apparently, it works for Linux as well, so really cool. Right, so installing uh, Darktable took a bit of fiddling because I had to input some commands and you can see on the screen right now uh, what the, if basically Apple didn't recognize the image so I had to trick it a bit um, and you have to use this command that is here on the, um, the screen right now. Right, so I've opened Darktable and this is the first thing that you can see if you are installing this as well. I will try to do a better video um, with a more in-depth review later on. Right, so let's see what we have. There are no images in this collection. If you're not importing images, you can do that by import module. Try to relax filter, images selected, try to no-click workflow here, okay. Need help? Hmm, okay. Let's see. Import a to library. <laughs> Capture one catalog, Lightroom catalog. Hmm. Right, so if I go plus, but let's see how good it is to import some raw files. So I have folders, select only new images. Do I need to select all to add to library? Oh, they were selected all. So select all, add to library. Oh, this is instant. I like it. So we've added the images to the library. What else do we have? So let's take this for example. Double click on it and it will open like this. Alright, we have here, it's not a histogram, it's a waveform graph. I don't really like this one, so I think people that use video uh, will recognize this graph. It's used more for video, or at least this is what I've seen so far. Um, but I want, I want my histogram. No? Oh, there you go. So this is the histogram. Lovely. What else? Uh, show only active modules, snapshots, history, okay. Color picker, export, mask manager, image information, okay. Tagging, so you can tag something, color picker, duplicate manager. I can add some, let's say, five star to these images. Five? Select one, select five. Mm, okay, <laughs> this is not that intuitive, but hey. File name, okay. Do we have any color balance? Oh, hue shift, global vibrance, contrast, four ways, luminous, okay, masks, okay. Saturation, global chroma, hue shift, okay, color equalizer, RGB primaries, color calibration, okay, correct, base, local contrast, more detailed highlights. If I go to highlights, mm hmm, okay. Sigmoid. Wow, the names are just <laughs> crop tone exposure. So let's go up with the exposure. Okay, this is too much. Hmm. Correction measure area mode. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is very interesting. It's I think it's gonna get, you know, uh, uh, 
It's gonna take a while to get used to this. It's very interesting though. <laughs> All right, high light reconstruction. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm coming from Lightroom and yeah, it's a bit all over. Mmm, freehand margins. <laughs> cropping, cropping, cropping. Oh, this is just amazing. Literally. Okay. Cropping. That's it. What do I do now? Hit enter. Okay. Oh, and it cropped. Working on it. Hmm. That's nice. That's really nice. It's... Oh, color calibration. White balance module error. White balance. White balance applied twice. I think that's why it's error. Okay, so if I go... What is this? Reset? So I reset it that. And the color calibration went poof. Okay. I think this is a very professional software. Uh, it says here on the website, let me open it. Uh, this software is made by photographers for photographers or something like this. Darktable is an open source photography workflow application and raw developer, a virtual light table and dark room for photographers. It makes your negatives into a database. Let's view, let's you view them through a zoomable light table and enables you to develop raw images and enhance them. <laughs> okay. If you say so. <laughs> Darktable is created for photographers by photographers. It's a powerful community. Now, I'm, I'm not laughing, it's just like, I think this software is very advanced, so you can literally tweak whatever you want, but um, for me at the moment, it's not that intuitive. It has like a lot of tools and promises a lot of stuff. Denoise, hot pixels. Row masks, what else? Watermark framing, ooh, this is cool. I can frame my photos. <laughs> Cute. I can add grain to my photo. Oh, quick access panel. This is what I needed, the quick access panel. Global vibrance, global chroma, saturation brilliance, chroma. Increase colorfulness at same luminance globally. So, if I go like this, working, working, working. Poof, cute. Global brilliance. Add or remove brilliance by an absolute amount. Brilliant, let's see. Cute. Really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. What else we have? Oh, can I click on this? Yes. Okay. Cute. Framing grain. How can I do a simple black and white? How can I do a simple black and white? Local contrast. Can I do this global saturation and desaturate? And that's it. Working. Takes a while to apply. So desaturated, but at the same time, I see a bit of color here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me have a better look on this. Is it? Is that not a sign? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Completely burned the image here a bit. <laughs> Saturation, brightness. Oh, what is this? Daylight. Hmm. Cute. Mm. 
How do I go and select new image? Light table. Do I have film roll here? Or just imported only one image? No, it should be here. Come on, what's happening? Okay, I can go here, here. I double click to edit the image and now it's gone. So, what is happening? I don't know where to click. I don't know where to click. Do I need to import it again? Do I need to add to library like this? Okay, but what else do I need to do? Okay, I, they, okay, I worked on this, but what else? Do I need to drag it somewhere? I don't know. Okay, now it appears here in the film strip. So this is what we've done before. Do I need to double click on it? <laughs> well, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick overview on Darktable. Um, we've managed to open some images, it, uh, some raw images actually, um, and also do a bit of very, very fast editing. Um, Leave a comment below if you use Darktable, or if you're still using Darktable. Um, and I'm curious what are you using it for and how are you using this software. Hit the like button and um, consider subscribing if you like to see more of this, uh, this kind of videos. I'm, uh, I'm very curious um, what other softwares you are using to replace Lightroom. Please uh, be safe and take care. Bye bye.